I'm back. I decided I was going to try and do two looks with my little elf bite. This is the hot jalapeno. Now, this is the second look. I've got the first one in pictures that'll be at the end. However, this film is not going to contain the how-tos or anything like that. This film is going to be about Jacob Blake, a young man with young children who tried to assist in breaking up a fight. And was shot by the cops because he had a prior record on a domestic disturbance. They didn't ask who was fighting. They didn't ask what it was about. They made an assumption. The reason in the video that he was walking funny is reported to be because he was tasered first. He had three young children, his sons, in the SUV that he was trying to get into so he could be with his children to keep them calm after he had been tasered. He opened the door. A cop grabbed the back of his shirt and tried to haul him back. And even though the man was not armed and at that particular time in his physical condition, he probably would have been really easy to restrain. This cop put seven, count them, seven bullets in this man's back in front of his children. He got lucky. He survived. He's paralyzed from the waist down, according to his father. He's still in serious condition, but he lived through it. His life is completely and permanently changed because somebody decided to have their gun out and to shoot a man in the back. Now, as has been happening lately, the local citizens rose up in protest. The majority of them were peaceful walking as they have been in other places to make it known that they're tired. This can't go on. Outside people came to town. There was looting. There was burning. And there was an outside of the community militia that decided they just needed to come in and start stuff. Now, I'm not going to mention the shooter's name because he doesn't deserve any notoriety. 17-year-old from the militia ran past the cops 
with a semi-automatic rifle. Nobody stopped him. He murdered two of the protesters. And when another one of the protesters attempted to disarm him once he was on the ground because he tripped, that protester was wounded in the attempt. But we have two more people gunned down because a guy with a gun wasn't stopped. Once that kid, and you could call him a kid, he's 17, or you could call him a man, he's right there at the very edge. He got up off of the ground, turned around, flung his hands in the air, and walked back towards the cops. Nobody touched him. Nobody. Armored vehicles rolled in, rolled right past him. Nobody touched him. The regular police car that he was walking towards backed up. Nobody touched him. Not another shot was fired. If that had been a black man with a gun walking down the street, even though he had his hands in the air, the cops would have been all over him. He would have been lucky to have made it out in one piece because more than likely he would have been shredded by the crossfire. This guy, still wearing his weapon on a support strap, still able to reach it in a second and start shooting again, was allowed to walk out. Anybody need to tell you he was a white guy? This has got to stop. Yes, I took notes on both of them. On both of the cases. This guy ran past the cops carrying that semi-automatic hand past him. Nobody stopped him. There was no weapon that Jacob Blake had. He was completely unarmed. The cop that shot him started yelling, drop the knife, drop the knife, drop the knife. There was no knife. They already had their guns out when there was nobody with a weapon. Yeah, they had a fight going on in that front yard. Nobody had a weapon other than their fists. Three little children are traumatized. Jacob Blake has had his life irrevocably damaged because cops couldn't maintain some semblance of sanity. They couldn't maintain some semblance of professionalism.
And people wonder why there's talk of defunding the cops the way they currently stand. You know, they're supposed to be trained in de-escalation. Doesn't seem like it, does it? It's got to stop. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> 